In this video, I'm going to tell you about the synopsis of Extraordinary Attorney Wu, episode 11. Mr. Salt, Mr. Pepper, and Attorney Soy Sauce. Episode 11 of Extraordinary Attorney Wu starts at a gambling den with a crazy revelation. One of the men with win first prize on the lottery. It's a joyous occasion and that same feeling of winning is shared by Young Wu, who awaits Jun Ho Erfil at Han Bada after their beautiful kiss. After meeting and agreeing to share lunch, Young Wu composes herself as she brought up to the conference room by Myung Sok. Just a pen new case she needs to deal with. The client happens to be one of the men from the gambling den, Shil Il Su, and, she, and he carries his wife lovingly into the room. She hasn't hurt herself though, but it seems like one of her heels broke off on the way. They were so worn they just broke right off. It's clear the couple are pretty property stricken and we soon get down to brass tacks. Il Su brings up the lottery win, including how we, he pulled his money with the other two people who we saw at the start of the chapter to buy tickets. They promised to split the money evenly, but unfortunately, Mr. Han, the guy whose ticket won, fled, refusing to share the money. Myung-so admits it'd be difficult to prove that they actually made this deal, and doubly so when it turns out the three frequented illegal gambling dance, the court may consider the promises invalid, especially given it took place in a shady establishment, Ilsu is debris too. And after point out the winnings were 1.4 billion won, even such as bringing in the other man part of this trio is to back up his claims. Meanwhile, Suyun posts a late night at the law firm, but she, re she received a call from Jong Won, her current flame. His very suave and offers up a special cocktail to help her out and a bucket of flowers too. Unfortunately, it turns out this is all big rules. Later in the episode, we learn that Jo Kwang is actually a swindler and only goes after women with estimate jobs. Suyeon is understandably upset and after buying the most expensive drink in the bar so he can pay for it and of course, she takes off. The next day, Young Woo is brought into the gambling den. She is a little flustered, especially when she learns the nickname for various patrons. Coffee shop is the name of for the ladies selling hot drinks while Astra is not for secrets but actually someone who runs small errands. He overheard their promise, but Astra isn't comfortable with tariffing in court when he offers money, Young Moo interjects and points out that would be a conflict and of interest. Still we begin our court case with Mr. Han against Jae Won and Il Su. Il Su lawyers claim there's no right and statement and given there's nothing legally legally binding either, then the whole agreement is invalid. Myung Sok hits back and attempts to bring Astray in to testify, but it turns out he's back given he's an immigrant and he and could get reported. With this at last, Il Su decided to turn his attention toward another witness that may be able to testify. Well, he suffers off with Jae Won, Young Woo is tasked to with looking into the juristic acts contrary to social order, the performance for illegal costs and other acts related to a potentially legally binding contract regarding this gambling deal. Young Woo ends up distracted that night though at video calls Jun Ho Lake. The pair decide to talk. Young Woo admits that he's been popping into her head a lot, just like Will's, and it's the first time anything like that has happened to her. It's really sweet moment and something that we see across the episode as Young Woo even watch him through her office and the pair touch hands between the glass. In court the next day, after Young Woo pulls a late night, the prosecution bring for Choi Dahye coffee house to testify. Mr. step up the question to her. But as she mentioned that the deals, Mr. Han stood up and claims that Il Su was actually having an affair with her, so they're in conclusion together. Il Su even gives her the hard sign with his finger, meaning Il Su is lying. Yu Wu heads home, where she finds her father contemplating what to do regarding Ta Su's getting retorts during the previous episode. Guan Ho asks his daughter about her experience, including whether to find a doctor to spe the specialists in autism. She admits that it would have been nice to have someone to speak to, pointing out that in the past she's felt alone with fears and worries. Wang Ho feels bad and encourages Young Woo to head up and wash up, heartbroken that his daughter was going through this. In court, Il Su win and money is to be spilled between the trio. 
after Isu speaks to Yongbu in her office about divorce, with our brilliant attorney casually retorting that getting divorced means you don't necessarily have to split your assets with that individual. And of course, this could well mean that Ilso is going to break up with his wife, but then as she promised her that he'd help pay for her medical bills, it puts her in a tricky situation. Yongwu and Junho eventually head off together, and there's big drama involving Sin Ilsu. He ends up in a massive argument with his wife, wanting to leave. He throws things around, pointing out that he's sick of her complaining and decided to divorce her. As she walks round the corner, he ends up with Choi Dahye. Yongwu is not happy. Yongwu and Junho help out Ilsu's wife and enter into a very similar agreement but this time with her she wants a proper division of assets including the lottery winnings given how awful Isu has treated her Hanbara agreed to help out but when they show up there's a shocking turn of events Isu drives out and away but he's hit by a truck yep it's the white truck of doom it slams right into him and the car leaving him head leaving him dead on impact the thing is with Ilsu disgated, the next of kin inherits his wealth remaining 1.1 billion won, which naturally falls into his wife. Silver earnings and all that. Attorney Wu Yong Wu seals all of this firsthand and begins to have a panic attack breathing rapidly. Jun Ho holds her tight and manages to calm her down. Off the back of this, Jun Ho promises to be her personal help chair, wanting to help her through tough moments as the pair meet outside Yongwu that night they kiss Guang Ho happened to see them together shock. During the epilogue, the meddling Winwu arrives to, say, to see Tae Su Mi and brings up her ties to Yongwu. With this as leverage, he wants to switch across the Tae love firm to show his ruthless to Mi agrees to this proposal but only if he can get Yongwu to quit working at Han Bada. That's it for the video. Bye!